So today we are going to construct a development of a pentagonal prism. Okay, first I'll be drawing the uh, top and front view. Uh, that is the orthographic of the pentagonal prism. So first I'm constructing a pentagon of dimension 30 mm. Okay. So then after that I'll be constructing the thin lines inside uh, three perpendicular bisectors to get the center of the axis. Okay, I'll be drawing three perpendicular bisectors here to get the center of the axis. Okay, so we can mention the naming here. A, B, C, D, E. So we can give the naming here. <coughs> mention as the top face center O and O1. Okay, so now we will be drawing the front view of this. So axis length given in this problem it is 60 mm. So I can draw an axis for 16 mm here. In all the vertical, because here the front view of a prism is a rectangular face. We can show the dimensions. So now we will be extending this to get to draw the development of it, two horizontal lines. Okay, now I will draw one okay, vertical edge for 60 mm. So this is we constructing using parallel line method. So now after this I will be have, have to draw five faces for a distance of 30 mm. So for this I will be using offset command. So giving the distance for 30 mm. And then by clicking totally five faces you have to get because it is in pentagonal prism okay you can mention the namings capital A capital C capital D capital E and again here okay you can construct the bottom face and top face here Can mention here for the top face even capital in capital we should mention here for the development okay even d1 even and even okay so for the orthographic also i will be mentioning the namings okay for the top face and bottom face and for the front view i will be mentioning the naming so that you can able to understand it is an prism okay it is having two faces top face and the bottom face top face notation it is a b c d e and bottom face notation it is a1 b1 c1 d1 and e1 and it is written within brackets in the same way we write for the front view Okay, same way we write for the bottom face also here. Okay, this is the basic problem uh, in uh, prism. So we know that uh, prism and uh, prism and cylinder will be projected using parallel line method. Okay, so this is what the parallel method of constructing 
a pentagonal prism here. I will show the total length here. So total length we get it here is 150 because 30 mm side with respect to the 5 faces 150. So this completes the problem. You can uh, subscribe for the channel and hit on the bell icon for the notifications and share it to the maximum students so they get benefited. Thank you all. Okay, so development of uh, pentagonal prism of side 30 mm and length 60 mm using parallel line method. Okay, so how we project you can see here uh, I have constructed the top and front view of a pentagonal prism. And now we, we have to construct the development of this. So how we will do it means, so we will be extending the lines here just like this little bit. Okay. So we will be extending the lines. Okay. So here the line it is same parallel. So I will be starting from this end. Say here from here. A vertical line that is a true length 60. Okay. And here you can see this pentagonal prism having five sides. Okay, so what we do, we'll measure 30. So 30 means you can measure from the compass, or you can directly cut it for each three boxes. Okay. So total five faces we have to get. Okay. So now draw vertical lines. So five faces you can see one two three four five each of the faces having the same edge length of the pentagonal prism so we will be giving the naming as in capital letters that is a1 b1 c1 d1 a1 and a1 again it is joining with the same face okay same way so We'll be writing for this top also capital E, P, C, T, E, and E. So this is nothing but the development of this pentagonal prism using parallel line method.